Scott joins me now with his thoughts. Senator, great to see you. Do we need a Thank special you. prosecutor at this time? I really wish Trey Gowdy had more time. I hope, I wish the good Lord gave him eight days, not seven, because he would be a great guy to take on this issue. There's no doubt that we have to figure out how to dig deeper into this absolute quandary that faces us. The fact of the matter is that when you look at the commissioner's response, he was arrogant, dismissive, and frankly hypocritical. Imagine a taxpayer walking in without any records of the past. What would happen to that taxpayer? We should expect the commissioner and the IRS to be treated in the same fashion that they treat the American citizens. But yeah. we haven't seen that. We frankly, not only one, not, not just Lois Lerner's emails, but six others, as you just said, six others we can't find that are relevant to the investigation. This needs a deeper look. Well, this is why I don't understand, Senator, why every American is not upset about this. Because, I mean, the IRS is somebody, quite frankly, a group that, that all of us fear as April 15th comes near. A absolutely. They're a powerful organization, perhaps the most powerful arm in government with the power to intimidate. I thought to myself, what if this were a set of conservative groups that have been targeted? Imagine if these were religious groups that were targeted or racial groups that were targeted. We expect the government to treat us all fairly and unfortunately in the least transparent uh, administration, perhaps in the country's history, we see the exact opposite. I want you to listen to Eleanor Holmes Norton, a Democrat from D.C., because she let out the C word. See if you can pick it up here. It's vile enough to look a man in the face and accuse him of perjury without submitting any evidence. All the evidence is on your side, Mr. Koskinen. Well, the word was conspiracy. She did say it. I mean, are, is this really a conspiracy right now? Well, listen, uh, Senator McCaskill was also talking about the arrogance of the leadership of the IRS. This is not a Republican um, uh, uh, witch hunt. This is factually a bipartisan thought process simply coming to this conclusion that this commissioner, uh, the IRS, has acted with great hypocrisy without any question we want answers for the american people this is not about republicans or democrats not about partisan politics this is about how we treat the average person and yep. if we're doing this to conservative individuals who's next right well when the archivist of the